Welcome to Scoop Canada, your source for accurate news and insightful commentary on Canadian affairs. Today, we delve into Alberta's renewed commitment to delivering Canadian energy to global markets, as highlighted by Danielle Smith's recent tweet. Smith emphasized Alberta's readiness following the completion of the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion, positioning Canada to supply secure and high-quality energy to international partners. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party, Canada has faced significant challenges in energy policy and infrastructure development. Trudeau's administration has been criticized for its perceived mishandling of energy projects and regulatory uncertainty, which have hindered Canada's ability to fully capitalize on its energy resources and secure international markets. Smith's tweet underscores a sentiment often echoed by critics of Trudeau's policies that the Liberal government's approach to energy has been inconsistent and detrimental to Canada's economic interests. The completion of the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion, while a milestone for Alberta, has been overshadowed by years of delays and regulatory hurdles imposed by federal policies. As Canada navigates its energy future, the role of provincial leadership, such as Alberta's proactive stance under Premier Jason Kenney, becomes increasingly significant. The contrast between provincial and federal priorities in energy policy highlights ongoing tensions and disagreements between regions and the federal government. Smith's tweet reflects Alberta's optimism and determination to leverage its energy resources for global benefit, despite federal challenges under Trudeau's leadership. Stay tuned to Scoop Canada for further updates on energy developments and their impact on Canada's economic and political landscape. But Smith's recent remarks conspicuously sidestepped Prime Minister Trudeau's significant role in advancing the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion. Trudeau's administration faced criticism for delays and regulatory hurdles that plagued the project, reflecting a lack of effective leadership in Canada's energy sector. Despite Trudeau's touted support, the pipeline's completion was marred by controversies and setbacks, undermining its intended benefits for Alberta's economy and Canada's energy security. Smith's omission underscores widespread discontent with Trudeau's handling of crucial infrastructure projects, highlighting ongoing frustrations and the need for more decisive action to support Canada's energy sector growth. Also, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our Conservative-themed products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. During a recent discussion, Danielle Smith addressed the evolving landscape of Canadian energy exports and Alberta's strategic position in global markets. When asked about the significance of recent world events emphasizing energy security in Canada's role, Smith highlighted the importance of diversifying Canada's energy export destinations beyond traditional markets like the United States. Smith noted that historically Canadian energy production was predominantly directed towards the United States, benefiting from a strong bilateral relationship, however, with the U.S increasing its own energy production. Canada faces the challenge of finding alternative routes to export its products to international markets. She emphasized the need for Canada, and specifically Alberta, to expand access to coastal ports for exporting energy resources, pointing out that the Trans Mountain Pipeline extension plays a crucial role in this strategy. It we weren't as able to help our international partners a year ago as we are now, because all of our production had one destination, which was going to the United States, which is great because uh, our, the Americans are our great friends and allies, but of course they've increased their own production. So we have a couple of ways of get, being able to get our, our product to the coast, down in the Gulf, Gulf Coast in, uh, in- Interestingly, Smith's comments did not acknowledge the efforts of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's administration in advancing the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion project. This project has been a focal point of federal energy policy aimed at enhancing Canada's capacity to export oil and gas to overseas markets, thereby reducing reliance on the U.S. market and enhancing energy security. Critics argue that Trudeau's support for the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion has been inconsistent and marred by delays due to regulatory challenges and opposition from environmental groups. Despite these obstacles, the completion of the pipeline extension represents a significant milestone for Alberta's energy sector, providing a direct route to the West Coast for exporting oil and gas to international buyers. While Danielle Smith highlighted Alberta's perspective on energy diversification and export opportunities, her omission of Trudeau's role in advancing the Trans Mountain Pipeline project underscores ongoing political tensions and differing priorities between provincial and federal governments. In further remarks, Danielle Smith emphasized the recent developments in Alberta's energy infrastructure that enhance Canada's global export capabilities. 
She highlighted the significance of new infrastructure, such as the recently opened export pipeline and the completion of Coastal Gas Link and LNG Canada projects. These developments provide Alberta with direct access to the Pacific Coast, facilitating quicker and more efficient transportation of Canadian energy products to international markets. Smith noted that these advancements enable Canada to diversify its energy export routes beyond traditional pathways to the United States. Specifically, she pointed out the benefits of exporting from Port Prince Rupert, which reduces transportation time significantly compared to previous routes. This logistical advantage not only improves the competitiveness of Canadian energy exports, but also strengthens Canada's position as a reliable supplier in the global energy market. The now we've got a direct opportunity through the export from Trans Mountain Pipeline, which just opened up within the, the last month or so. And then when coast, with Coastal Gas Link being completed and LNG Canada up and running and other projects also uh, going to, to get to final investment decision, now we have a direct access from the, the, the Pacific to be able to, to get to uh, destinations around the world. I'm, I understand that uh, exporting from Port-au-Prince Rupert as well with some of our products is going to allow for us to cut. Completion of these projects represents a critical step towards achieving energy security and economic prosperity for Alberta and Canada as a whole. By expanding access to international markets and reducing dependence on single export destinations, Alberta's energy sector can capitalize on global demand for clean and reliable energy resources. While Smith's comments underscore Alberta's as optimism and strategic vision for energy development, they also reflect ongoing challenges and complexities in Canada's energy policy landscape. The coordination between provincial and federal governments remains crucial in overcoming regulatory hurdles and ensuring sustainable growth of Canada's energy sector. She further emphasized that Canada is now entering an era where it can project its influence and support to friends, partners, and allies internationally. Danielle Smith pointed out specific instances where this has already begun to unfold. She highlighted that India and China, among others, have purchased shipments from the Trans Mountain Pipeline. These transactions underscore Canada's growing role as a reliable supplier of energy resources to diverse global markets. Smith's remarks reflect Alberta's perspective on leveraging its energy infrastructure to strengthen diplomatic and economic ties with international partners. The ability to export Canadian energy products to countries like India and China not only diversifies Canada's customer base, but also enhances its geopolitical influence by fostering bilateral trade relationships. The transportation. So I, I think we're really just entering the era of us being able to, to project our influence and support with our with our friends and partners and allies internationally. We've already seen, for instance, um, India has has purchased a shipment from the Trans Mountain Pipeline. China has purchased a shipment from the Trans Mountain Pipeline. And I, I said this development aligns with Alberta's strategic goals of expanding market access and maximizing the economic benefits of its energy resources. By capitalizing on opportunities to export through the Trans Mountain Pipeline and other infrastructure projects, Alberta aims to solidify its position as a key player in the global energy market. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. As Canada continues to navigate the complexities of global energy dynamics, the role of energy infrastructure in facilitating international trade and diplomacy becomes increasingly pivotal. The successful implementation of these projects is crucial for Canada's energy security and economic growth, positioning the country as a dependable supplier of sustainable and high-quality energy resources on the global stage. Stay informed with Scoop Canada as we delve deeper into the implications of this and other significant issues affecting our nation. Subscribe to our channel for the latest updates, in-depth analyses, and expert commentary on the policies shaping Canada's future.